What's up, everybody? Jay-Z here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Tops Allen & Ginter Baseball just sold out. This is a 12-box full case break. Random teams number two. And again, guys, uh, early bird free spot giveaway. All you had to do was buy one of the first 16 spots to get entered. So if you were, you have a chance to get a free spot. Now remember, this is a 31-spot break as we add the non-MLB baseball cards in. So any non-sport, non-MLB affiliated with the MLB team logo will go to that spot. Just remember, no vet common ship. So here's a dice roller. We're going to use this dice roller for the list of names. For the early birds, there's the first 16. And then we'll paste in the last name there to make it 31. And then we'll randomize it with the same dice roller. 31 names, 31 teams, including non-baseball. So here we go. Roll. It is a four and a one five times. Good luck. Number one gets a free extra spot. One, two. Oh no, round door is a little slow again. Come on, man. No, don't don't do this to me today. Three. Four. Good thing the roll's not that long. I wonder if it's just, are so many people now using round.org at once? Servers are just not strong enough? Sorry guys, I did not expect this to happen today. I thought it was just like a maintenance thing yesterday. So it looks like we might be having to use psychic signs for the rest of the night. Four and five. Alright, so there you go. Michael Gallucci. Sorry about that, man. I know it was the slowest randomizer ever, but four and a one five times. You just got a free extra spot. Let's paste your name here. Put a little plus sign. Now again, five times on the list of names and the teams. One. Two. Three. Three, four, and five. There you go, five, five. J down to Brian. One, two, come on guys, come on, come on, we're almost there guys, jeez, come on around the door. And five. Last one, guys. Sorry about this, guys. There we go. Reds down to the Blue Jays. So, Jay, you have the Reds. Brian with the A's. Mark with the Mets. Chris with the non-baseball spot. Mike Galucci with the Cardinals. Royals. Free spot twins. Richard with the Diamondbacks. Shannon Rex, you have the Red Sox. Adam with the White Sox, Eric with the Brewers, Adam L with the Angels, Andy Owens, you have the Braves, Sam with the Padres, Aaron with the Dodgers, Justin with the Tigers, Brian with the Nationals, Ed with the Marlins, Matthew with the Rockies, Ed with the Pirates, Mike Gulich with the Astros, Alan with the Giants, uh, Jordan with the Phillies, uh, Baltimore Orioles to Don, um, Alan with the Cubs, Jason with uh, Rangers, Chris with the Rays, Patrick with the Guardians, Justin with the Ra uh, Mariners, Brian with the Yankees, and Brian Tippett, that is. Brian Crouch with the Toronto Blue Jays.
All right, any trades? Uh, Chris Barron has the non-baseball. I'll make it a little easier to understand. I put in non-baseball, but non-baseball, non-sport. No, it, it does blend in. <laughs> Are any trades, guys? Oh, I'm sorry, Matthew, I know. It happens sometimes. All right, also, two guys, since the last three teams remaining are basically the teams I gave away for free, um, I'll do a randomized between Daniel and Barry. Daniel and Barry. So I'm going to sell out <coughs> that Cosmic Six, and I'll give away the last three teams as well to uh, one of you guys. So it looks like we'll be able to do Cosmic 5 and 6. Uh, it seems like to me a lot of people are saying no to trade, so I'm going to close the trade window then. I'm just hearing a lot of no's or no responses. So you guys have 30 seconds. I don't know if Alan's actually watching Rex. It's always easier to trade with what you see. So you don't like any of those trades there with Phillies or anything like that, Rex? If not, I'm going to close it. Because it seems like people are willing to trade for your Phillies. So. Or for... Uh, sorry, not your Phillies. Your uh, Red Sox. <laughs> yeah, try to trade. Couldn't trade Mojo, I guess, yeah. I'm just going to let, I, I think Rex might be the only team, I don't know if I'd seen him reply back saying no to some of these, so. He didn't respond to Sam, he didn't respond to 
to anything else. So, Rex, yes or no? Alright, try one of them, I guess. Try to trade good and trade Mojo. So I got that. So again, as um, just let me put it in the schedule now, just so you guys know. Numbers Chrome, uh, Cosmic Chrome five and six did sell out, so we'll run those back to back. Um, it should be around that four four fifteen time slot. Oh, that train wouldn't go pretty far, so let's just uh, see. I'm gonna start breaking right now. Three fifteen. That shouldn't be more than thirty minutes. So four forty five. And then we'll have six back to back, basically. And then that should take me to about like 525, maybe, after I print out labels and all that stuff. So be busy to er keep early on. Be, be busy early on, sorry, which is good. All right. Yeah, that's the one thing though, guys. You know, I've I've done about two cases of this on Instagram, and I will say I think I've pulled on average what two rib cards per case, and then I've pulled a box topper in every case that I've done. And the box topper uh, rib cards are awesome. So please, if you guys do pull a rib card and you're watching, please let me rip it live. Those are awesome. So there you go, guys. Good luck. Good luck. Did you really, Matthew? Yeah. I ripped two box toppers. I haven't ripped the mini rips, like the normal card rips. I've ripped two box toppers so far. I've basically had twins on the top, like two Derek Jeters and two Ken Griffey's. And then on the bottom, you had the stained glass kind of deal. Uh, non-sport, non-baseball is Chris Parent. Alright, and then I, that's weird actually. Usually these are supposed to be like, aren't these supposed to be in a, in a, in a pack? And then you open it up. I guess the national landmarks don't uh don't don't pull that. I pulled a really cool autograph the other day. Check this one out, guys. This was a non-sport. DJ Mugs. Well, have fun with this though, guys. This stuff's always fun. It's a long break, but you know it's it's kind of fun though, right? I mean, you only get this once a year, anyways. I will say though, it, it seems like the the non-sport autographs are kind of weak this year. I mean, there's some good ones, don't get me wrong, but there's really not as good as years in the past. I don't know. I kind of want to just pull one of those like Dino DNA cards, you know, get a piece of a, of a Triceratops or whatever, you know. 
Some DNA. Dino DNA. You got the Wooly Lanet too? That's awesome, dude. Yeah, I, I, I almost bought on eBay a while back. Uh, I forgot what year it had it, but they had a, obviously, a Megalodon tooth and shit like that. That was cool. That was cool. I think one year they had like a piece of Napoleon's like hair or something stupid. <laughs> it's awesome, but it's funny. I think it's a fun rip, Rex. I don't know if you actually sell those to car shops or anything like that, but uh, I can't expect the prices to be like skyrocketing, like like so crazy. It's probably gone up like 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks maybe, but I'd rip it. It's a fun rip, actually. I think that product will stick around and they'll probably make it even better too. Like I said, if they can maybe raise the price just a little bit, whatever they need to do to make it one autograph a box, I think it'd still sell well. Yeah, well, just remember this though, Rex. We had it for 220, but there was places already online that were selling it for 285. I seen. So, I mean, we have it at a solid price. But it doesn't mean everybody else isn't. It's like when Prison World Soccer, Cup Soccer came out. We had it at 400 a box. David Adams and Steel City were all at 700 They're like $300 more than us. You know? Like, so... It's, it's a little different. I think a lot of places online have become very, very overpriced. But I get it. It's probably the most convenient way, right? Because not everybody has a car shop nearby them, so... You want to buy kind of official, right? All right, we got Giancarlo Stanton. Shame, guys. But yeah, I would rip it, but it's up to you. Ben attendee. So we'll kind of just skim through this stuff, guys, you know. Franco. Nice Bobby Witt, though. Maddox. Salvador Perez. And autograph. Is that for the Guardians? Richie. And uh, Guardians, that is Patrick. I should have a third hit here, most likely another relic or something. Could be a rip card though, you never know. Bellinger, Castillo. And 
And relic there for the Minnesota Twins, Gary Sanchez. All right, first box. Size box loader card. I like to rip these first, just get them out of the way. And it's Bryce Harper for the Phillies. There you go. I believe he's having a Tommy John type of surgery or something like that, so I think he's. I think he'll still be able to play this upcoming season, but I think he's just going to be a DH again. Which makes sense why he wasn't playing in the outfield or. or or a first baseman than that, right? You have to think something's wrong with his shoulder, his arm. Well, a lot of people are, you know, it's funny about Matt, that you're talking about that, Matthew, with Judge, but they were talking about his post on Instagram, how, you know, he's thanking the MLB and the writers and then obviously to the fans, but didn't say, like, you know, it's kind of like, it was an honor to, to win that at, as a Yankee, but kind of not really, really giving much, saying, like, am I resign? I'm going to be there for long term or not. What if he just decides to go back home to like San Francisco or something up north? Isn't he from Northern California? I don't know, man. He's an older free agent dude, too, right? I mean, isn't he like 29 or 30 already? Not, not to say his bad years are to come, but... Yeah, you know, so somebody will pay him, though, you know, that's the thing. I don't think money's going to be a problem for him. It's just more like, what What does he really want the most, right? Does he want to play for a team that's going to contend yearly, or is he just going to go for the money? Which, like I said, I don't think money will be the problem, but it's kind of whatever he really wants to do. If he wants to stay, he wants to go back home, he wants to try a new home. be interesting though that all gets free agencies what I, I end of December January right or something like that around there I don't even remember because of the whole like the whole uh, delay and everything Yelich Relic. Milwaukee Brewers going to Eric. Maldonado. Four picks. Like four INTs? I don't know. I could see Jonathan Taylor just rushing all over us though.
No, Nick is actually busy. He's actually out um, doing some stuff. So I, I, I think it's more that than anything, but you are correct, Rex. I think our website's going to look a little slow this week because of Bowman Chrome. Um, Bowman Chrome comes out Wednesday, so I think that's probably why the website's a little bit slow. And then, of course, we're going to post up Black Friday deals and stuff like that, so I assume that's what's probably going to happen. Yeah, it was kind of frustrating to see the Eagles last week. I mean, I only got to see them in the second half. I went to go see the new Black Panther movie, so I missed the first half. But just just watching the second half, it just really everything that went that could have went wrong went wrong. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like they are not playing well, right? They're not stopping Washington. You know, finally the Eagles get a drive going again in the second half, score a touchdown, boom. Then get the the interception, right? All right, cool. It's momentum's on their side, right? And then the Goddard situation, yeah, it sucks. I know he had a face mask, you know, but whatever. It wasn't called, right? So you can't really do anything about that no more. Fumbles the ball, right, as he's getting face masked. They get the ball back, you know. And then next possession, right? Hurts throws a bomb, right? <laughs> you know, fast Batman. Watkins catches it, gets back up, fumbles the ball. So it's kind of like, you know, everything that was going bad, just it just wasn't going for them that day. And yeah, I'm kind of like you. It's, I was really frustrated watching it because they're just totally losing this game themselves. But it's better to get that loss out of the way, too. So yeah, I, I expect them to win this weekend and kind of be pissed about it. And yeah, just slaughter. But I don't know. You never know. All right, then we got Garrett Cole. This one had three relics. Two of us is hurts, man. That'd be wild. I don't like to buy into the whole like statistics and analytics of everything, but every season the Eagles have started eight and one, they went to the they went to the Super Bowl. Like it's it's kind of weird that that happens. Did they push it back to Friday, Rex? Because uh, Bowman Chrome was supposed to come out on Wednesday. If they pushed it back to Friday the 30th, then that's a little different. Let me see. Hold on. <sighs> now you're... I was told it was Wednesday. And it was Wednesday even up until like two, three days ago. No, Bowman Chrome's on the 23rd. No, that's still Wednesday. I hope so, Matthew. I don't know if they'll win, honestly, but this this season, obviously, being an Eagles fan, just kind of reminds me of, of the 2017 season where, you know, it's your second year as a full-time starter, second year, like, with Wentz, same thing, right? It's kind of a little magical in the sense where you kind of don't really expect it to happen that quickly, but at this point, you know, just let it ride, and I think that's why, you know, with Jordan Davis being out for a couple weeks on IR, he was their big run stopper. It's crazy that, again, statistics on how much when he's on the field, their first round pick. The, the team doesn't, ooh, we got one of those hot boxes. Remember these ones right here, guys? These are awesome. So I'm, I'll make sure to ship these ones because these are technically kind of like a hot box. Um, you know, when he's on the field, they don't get more than two, three yards of carry, but when he's off the field, they get like five, six yards of carry. So I, I, I know the Eagles front office is all in because, you know, they're over here getting Joseph, they're over here signing Sue. They, they need some help stopping the run oh that's an awesome card right here Tony Gwynn that's the silk number to 10 that's sick right there I might as well just top load that now um, so yeah I mean I, I think they're all into it's a nice one there for the Padres that's going to Sam try to trade couldn't trade Mojo double check Rex I'm looking at blowouts release calendar and it says 1123 so I mean, I could be mistaken. It does say Bowman Choice, though, is releasing on the 25th. So, maybe we're only going to get Hobby on the 23rd. And then Choice on the... HTA Choice on the 25th. 
What you're seeing though, Rex, what I'm seeing actually for what you might be seeing, Bowman Chrome Light is releasing on the 30th of November. So I think that's my maybe what you had seen. Yeah, it says 1122 Leaf Autograph Soccer Jerseys. <coughs> then it says... Um, then it says Bowman Chrome the 23rd. Origins International Blaster on the 23rd. Topps Heritage Minor League on the 23rd. Top Star Wars Chrome Book of Boba Fett. And then you have HGA Choice on the 25th. Prison World Soccer. Uh, Breakaway on the 25th. Some Pokemon on the 25th. And then nothing until the 30th and the 2nd. But a lot more basketball and baseball and football products are going to be releasing a lot in December. December is going to be wild. Start of December, if it, and if it all stays on plan, you're going to get Absolute Baseball. You're finally going to get the last installment of Flawless. You're going to get Collegiate Flawless. You're going to get some Stadium Club Baseball. We'll get some Donner's Optic Baseball. Um... If they still release Premier Hockey, we can get Premier Hockey in, that, in December. We'll have a Game of Thrones set as well, looks like. Contenders Optic Basketball, which will be a fun one. You know, a lot of stuff. Alright, here we go. Here's one of those, uh, like I said, foil like hot boxes. So we'll make sure to ship those, of course. Beer. Melendez. And Byron Buxton. So this one's had the silk to 10 and an autograph here. Minnesota Twins. Twins having a good start, actually. Michael Gallucci. Yeah, that, that's a good point though, Rex. Thank you for mentioning that. But yeah, guys, I, I, I think now, maybe I didn't realize it, but yeah, I think the website could be a little light heading into this week because of Bowman Chrome. So I think that's going to be the main focal point because besides that, there's really nothing else releasing this week up until, you know, like I said, the following week and even after that. So look out for, you know, a ton of Bowman Chrome to be uploaded, you know, potentially by tomorrow, if anything. This guy's hilarious. I love this dude. I love him in, uh, in Crazy Rich Asians. And Pete Alonzo. That is a frame mini relic. Red. Which is not numbered, but still very nice one there. This is a pretty loaded box, actually. Maybe the hot boxes carry all the hot stuff. Nice Julio. It would be. <laughs> and plus, I don't know how big the checklist is, but it'd probably be hundreds of spots. So. That sounds more like an eBay thing, Rex, like we used to. Let you guys bid it up, and then... Then we break it. Also, I think we got a fourth hit here. Uh, which is George Springer. So they gave us, like, an extra hit.
can also be autographed too. I think Derek Jeter's in this set with an autograph. Be awesome to pull an autograph though. Juan Soto. We did a 20 caser. I think we did a 24 hour stream one time. I don't know if we did a 20 caser. I know back in the eBay days, we used to do like 10, 15 cases, but we would schedule them like three per day, three or four per day. Yeah, I know. I remember those too because I was there already when that was happening. It's just that I don't think we did it consecutively though. We had a schedule like throughout the week. I'm going to rip a couple boxes at a time, guys. Lubob. But yeah, if, if Bowman, I don't know how big Crum, Bowman Chrome's gonna be. It's always nice, don't get me wrong, but I feel like that one year, it was so big that we did that 24 hour stream because it was just gonna be so popular, you know? I don't really know how popular Bowman Chrome's gonna be compared to like draft or Bowman baseball, but. I am starting early though on Wednesday. If it is still scheduled to release Wednesday, I think the schedule for Wednesday is going to be a little different. I think uh, I was going to come on in the morning, 10, 11, 11 the latest. And then I was going to stay on until like 5. And then Joe was going to come in after 5. And then he was going to stay on until like 12 or 1 in the morning. So we can have like extended hours that day. And then obviously we'll be off on Thursday. But I'll be back Friday, and I'm sure we'll have either more Bowman Chrome to do, <coughs> excuse me, or um, have some more Black Friday deals and stuff like that. So yeah, probably for this weekend, guys, I expect the website to be a little light.
I don't think so, Rex, but you're close. I think we did it in 2019. I believe. We already moved in here, I remember. So it was definitely 2019, 2020. We either did it for Wander Franco or we did it for Jason Dominguez rookie year. Which I want to say, or not rookie year, his first. I want to say it was that one. I want to say it was 2020 Bowman. Because it was just when we moved in here. And I remember at the time it was just me and Joe breaking and Teddy was just starting. But I, I want to say it was for Jason Dominguez. With Bobby Witt and all that good stuff. Another Lou Bob. So I remember it was... I started it off early. Like at 6 a.m. And then I was on to like... 3 or something. 2 or 3. And then Joe came on and he was on. And then I think Nick's the one that did the late, late night. And you know what? Now I remember. It was here. And it was for Jason the Maze. Because I remember I stood at the hotel down the street. <laughs> so yeah, that was definitely 2020. But that was like right before the pandemic. Like, hit. And then the hobby just went nuts. Alright, let's do this three boxes here, guys, and then we'll go on to the next three. Field Yates right there. O'Neill Cruz. Bradley Beal autograph. That's awesome. So frame mini. That's going to go to the non-baseball. And uh, it's going to go to Chris Parent. No, Matthew, if you were just gone not too long ago, I was just ripping three boxes straight, so I probably killed like 10 minutes. We just hit a Bradley Beal right now, though. I don't know if you've just seen that. Seat cushion, this, this chair is getting old. Yeah. 
relic there of Michael Brantley, Houston. Nice O'Neill Cruz there again as well. Also the flip backwards part was a Manny Ramirez. And a little Chipper Jones. Let's go on to the next box here, guys. Good luck. Donaldson relic Yankees Wow, dude, didn't you just talk about this earlier, Matthew? Getting like Alice Cooper? <laughs> that is awesome. I do, Rex. I actually check them as I go. Usually the numbered cards are flipped backwards, but... That was funny. Yeah, I usually flip them back. Well, they're usually the numbered cards are already backwards, but yeah, I usually do check them as I'm going through them. But I don't think I spotted any so far. Let's see the stack too. Don't get me wrong, though, some of these actually could be also really good too, but I think you kind of have to look at the checklist and all that stuff. Oh, those are already in Alice Cooper number one. Damn, we got two of them. Otani. Cycle. There's a nice little Wander Franco mini right there. And a Ryan Mountcastle. Johnny Cueto.
Simeon. Cody Ballinger might not be a Dodger. I think they might let him be a free agent. Yeah, man, I mean, he's kind of fallen off the rails, right? <laughs> I mean, he had one crazy good year. His rookie year was great, too, but obviously his MVP year, kind of pretty amazing to think about, like, how crazy falling off that's happened. I mean, obviously, he's still a young player. It's still time to turn it around, but it's just kind of crazy how that's happened. Just consistently hasn't been able to replicate what he did. Rip card. And look at that. Rex ain't gonna let me rip this. Rex is not Rex is gonna sell this. Alright Rex, you got a rip card. And it's Pedro to 99. You might either get a mini a red ink. You might get an exclusive mini, a wood 101, a metal or one of a kind sketch. Let me know. It's out of 99. I'd rip this, honestly. There could be something way bigger than that. Yeah, I think this is the only ones. Like, some guy pulled an oversized box topper, and it was like, would you rip it? And it was like a Julio. <laughs> I was like, man, that's kind of tough. I mean, some people will still buy these ripped open just to collect the cards, but they're definitely not nearly as much anymore. Did I hear this? Am I seeing this correctly, guys? Did the Rex just say rip it? And a Tatis relic. Padres. Man, look at that. Padres. Try to trade. Couldn't trade Mojo. Dang. All right, Rex. Do you want me to rip it like right now or do you want me to go through some more boxes? I could do it now or at the end. Let's make it exciting. Let's just do it now. All right. Let's see how good of a doctor I will be. All right, here we go, buddy. Oh man, I just cut my nails yesterday too. Bad day to cut the nails. correctly man I'm gonna have to rip this one all in it oh man this is horrible this one must have had a defect or something this one's hard this one's not ripping like it usually does Oh no, we're gonna lose it! Not to come from the bottom.
I think that's a Padre. Fernando Tatis, it looks like. Which is probably better than this, honestly. Nice. So that's an exclusive mini. So of course you'll this will probably sell for a lot more than the minis you'll see out there. And I think it goes by like the number, and this is number 65. We saved it. We saved it. And I'll still put this back together. And sometimes, like I said, people do definitely still buy these, so. Tati should be back. You know, right? I, did did he f serve the full suspension in the sense that, like, he can be back right away? Or does he still have to serve a couple games into this, this upcoming season? Because playoffs wouldn't have counted, right? Like, per se, like... Oh, those are number to 25, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, who knows? This rip card probably could have been just as much, if not a little bit more, but I think the opportunity potentially to get something better is always a little bit more better to, to try. But. <laughs> Still hit there, though. So, I'm going to make sure to tag this, of course, as this is your hit, of course. Um, so that way we don't <laughs> ship it to the Padres. <laughs> the last thing we need is uh, this to get shipped to Sam. Although I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Alright, that should be stuck right there. Nice! Hey, that's pretty good. I figured that Pedro would probably be around the same price. I mean, if you can get like 40 50 bucks for the mini then basically pays for your spot. And we're only halfway through. I feel like I'm taking super long ripping this, but I mean, who cares, right? We're having fun. This is like our third Luis robber. So Adam L, just remember, you're going to get like three of these and counting. I mean, that's the one thing, Matthew. I, I would like to know. It, I mean, obviously, it, it did enhance a little bit, right? Like what he could do on the field. But I feel like a lot of people usually take kind of performance enhancing to kind of more recover than anything, right? So for him, it's not like he was. it was making him yoked, you know? It's not like with him making him yoked. It, it was just more like what... I mean, I guess it was helping him out. With strength, stamina, whatever the case may be, right? <laughs> really? I didn't really look into what he actually took. I just remember the whole memes of it being like, he was saying using it for like a ringworm. Cream, whatever the case was.
There were some really, really funny memes everywhere on Twitter and stuff. It was really funny. You think he's gonna be beamed a lot, Rex? I would like to see how that team looks healthy. I mean, obviously you can't predict any te every team to be healthy, but I mean, just look at what the Padres did this playoffs, you know. Would have a Tatis got them to the next round potentially, you know. And who knows what they're going to do fully this offseason and stuff like that. Um, bias. All I know is that I don't know if Soto's I don't know if Soto's really locked in there long term. I mean, I guess we'll find out this offseason. Because I would have thought, like, if he really wanted to be in San Diego, he probably would have signed that extension already. Because I thought it was more money than anything, but I think for him, he just wants, he prefers to play somewhere. So, it's going to be interesting. I don't know. He's there for one more season, right? And then he's an unrestricted free agent. So, kind of like the Trey Turner deal. Where, you know, Dodgers traded for him a year and a half out. So, kind of for half a season and a full season. Did they? I know. I wonder how many teams are actually just making room to just revamp their, 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 their roster. There's some teams out there with a shit ton of money. Locked and loaded. Tough time to be a Tigers fan then, Matthew. It looks like people are buying spots straight up into that Jaspi hit parade again. So, if we sell those last two spots straight up, then I'll cancel that second pack filler. And then we'll sell the next nine spots straight up. the park
Alrighty guys, let's go with the next three. So we're halfway through the case, guys. We're almost there, guys. So far, one rip card. We have got a lot of autographs already, so I don't know how many more autographs we might actually hit, but still potentially a few prizes left. Benya rookie. J Rod. Nice Bobby Witt mini. Bigger Bobby Witt there. Worm burner. And another one for the twins. Moran. Giovanni Moran. Thomas, the big hurt. Piece of the bat. And that is uh, White Sox, Adam L. Not exactly what I wanted. Thank God I saved it. That was close. <clears throat> I need to go grab some more sleeves, guys. Actually, I'm running a little low, so BRB really quick. That was almost of a disaster.
we go half of the night. Murphy? Morgan Murphy. Oh, is this yours too? Who knows, maybe you get a second one, Rex. Just keep that one. But my logic is more like Matthews too. Like unless it's a really big player, I probably don't rip it. If it's like, I know disrespect to Pedro, but you know Pedro and it's at a 99, I'd rather take that risk. It's not like you got a worse player. But yeah, you probably would have ripped it anyways. But <clears throat> now if it was like Julio Wander, I don't know. I, I kind of would doubt ripping it. I remember one time my buddy that I uh, helped sell cards to here with Jaspies, he uh, he pulled a double rip card. And it was Trout and Aaron and uh, Albert Pujols. Five of five. And he didn't rip it for weeks, but he just couldn't stop himself and he ripped it and he regretted it instantly. <laughs> Something like that, I probably don't rip. But he just figured, man, there could be something massive in here. Which there could be. You just don't know. But I feel like they tend to... I'd like to, I'd like to think that they tend to put like the better stuff in some of the cheaper rip cards. But maybe... Maybe it's opposite, right? Maybe they put them in the better cards. We'll never know. Because they usually don't get ripped. They usually just get sold. You have to assume somebody that's going to buy it, though, has the intention to rip it, right? Hodges. Gil Hodges for the Brooklyn Dodgers. If it was a PC player for me, I wouldn't mind ripping it only because I, I still get it. You, you, not like you still can't keep the card, right? You're, it'll still be in your collection. It'll be ripped, but who knows? Maybe there's something better in there and you, you, know, you just keep both. Because I assume someone keeps a rip card just to keep it sealed and in case years pass and people are like, you know, oh, I'll give you this much, and then you eventually sell it. Because it, my thing is, if you're going to keep it, right, you, you might as well rip it, right? I mean, that's what, that's how I would think. It's like, if I'm going to keep this Nolan, or I'm going to keep this, you know, Dodger, well, shit, I'm just going to rip it. Who cares? I want the card, too. Because <laughs> my thing is that, like, I, I personally don't know how much these rip cards actually go for as years pass. Like, do some of them, like, you know, maybe we can go look that up. Maybe, 
if there's like a Shohei Otani rip part, has that like skyrocketed by now? You know, that's my only thing. I'd assume it does. And there you go, Todd Helton. Who are the Rockies? Hey, Matthew. There you go. How about Todd Helton? Clean shaved. Backwards. Colton Welker to 25. Man, Colorado Rockies. So there you go. There's our first number to many. Lane Kershaw. Dodgers, that's going to Aaron. Reese Hoskins for the Phillies relic. That's Jordan. Alrighty guys, three more boxes left. So I'll probably rip all three of these just like I have been and then we'll go through them guys. But I'll probably be like 15, 10 minutes delayed. So let me move back some of this right here. Did, did does anybody know if Buffalo has uh, the Bills ended up making it uh, safely to Cleveland? I know their plane was taking off around 1:30 our time, 4:30 Eastern. But I haven't been on social media since then, so I don't know. It was already basically like three, four feet today. Nice. 
You know, honestly, even though I, I, I would assume that they have the best pilots, you know, the best aircraft for their team, but that shit is still scary, right? <laughs> I mean, this isn't like... This isn't like taking off in a normal snowstorm, it's potentially like... There's still just snow just pouncing down. My thought process is, why didn't they take off, like, before all this? Why, why didn't they, like, when they announced it, just take off? I guess maybe it wasn't the right time, right? I guess their, their radar dopplers are like, no, you should be leaving at 4 o'clock on a Saturday. Because, uh, it's, it's better. I don't know, turbulence is pretty scary, though. I felt like turbulence really bad once during a thunderstorm, but it, w it wasn't that crazy, though. Yeah, well, I showed you guys the meme yesterday, right? The whole Nick Chubb one. <laughs> Since yeah. Nick Chubb is only like barely 5'11", he'd be right. under snow. That was hilarious. Yeah, I don't know what their plan, yeah. Oh, this one came with two. Alright. I will say that it was pretty cold last night in Long Beach. It was like 50 degrees. <laughs> you know, 50 in LA is the coldest place in the world. No, yeah, I'm pretty sure early, early in the morning. Yeah, it's probably in the 40s. When I got out of here, I got out of here like a little after midnight. After cleaning up and everything. I think I got home and it was like 50 degrees. Yeah, Rex, you don't understand though. 50 degrees in Los Angeles is like the coldest place in the world. Like, you, just, you just don't get it. <laughs> you guys could be in the negatives. <laughs> we Californians, Angelinos, dude, cannot. Cannot function in the 30s and 40s and below. But it's so funny though, right? Because I mean, Los Angeles in general is just like you can go 30 miles to the beach, 30 miles to the desert, 30 miles to the mountains, and you'll you get the snow, the sun.
Yeah, I'm sure in any, like, Bay Area, even, yeah, even here, man, it, it's funny because, like, it's so fresh here, obviously being by the beach, but it can also get extremely cold. Windy. I remember my wife grew up in, like, Fontana. Super windy over there. Like, so windy, freaking semi-trucks tipping over windy. <laughs> Times the USC UCLA play today, right? Hell yeah! I think they play at five. Just can't wait to get have USC just get exposed today. Oh yeah, they play at five. We have time. I don't know. I don't know if Bo Nix is playing today. So I, I think for, I think this is a lot like the 2019 season. <laughs> once a once we get some injuries and losses, it's over. Whoa! Iowa won their game, and they have this huge, like, trophy. And it has a huge, like, a pig. What is this trophy called? I want that. Oregon's rivalry games tomorrow, or next week, sorry. They play the Civil War against Oregon State next weekend in Beaverton. I feel like usually most of the most most of the rivalries are next week though, right? I think USC UCLA is just playing today. But I guess Notre Dame played against USC next week, so I figure that's still a rivalry too. You <laughs> want a regular big seat? I know. Dude, I seen this wicked ass video of them of uh this like Mexican place making uh chicharrones. Let me see if I stop this video. It was just kinda it's kinda cool to see actually. I think I saved it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I did actually. Thought I did. Maybe I didn't. But it was so cool. They were just throwing like the burning hot oil on the pig, like the whole pig itself. And then of course the skin is just turning into chicharron. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. Actually, you know what? I might have seen that actually on my other page. No, we'll find it later. How did uh did, did did Redondo win this past weekend over or was it no bueno? I know there's still playoffs going on around Los Angeles.
I don't know, Rex. We'll find out. Who do they play? Who was who, who, Radama playing again, you said? That's still good, though, man. I mean, obviously, like you said they turned it around. You can still get into the playoffs. Win one playoff game is still awesome. Lakewood. Hmm. I actually go to Lakewood frequently. Was there? What was it? Just their offense? It was just banging, or was they had? Was they have a good running game? Good quarterback play, or what was what's going on? Barrens. Big plays, phys uh, bigger physical. I mean, that's the one thing, man. There's, there's always going to be someone better than you. You know? It's like, and people tend to see that more when it comes to, like, playoff, right? You know? CAF. This guy again, but this time it's numbered red ink, one of ten. So this is Charlie Burns, who's a journalist and a comedian. And the non-sport is just murdering this break. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure, for sure, yeah, yeah. Watching stream a bit delayed, but back to rip cards and a double rip card. Judge Reddy Jackson 25 and 2020 unripped just sold for 125. So even after Judge's recent news. Yeah, that's my thing. That's one thing that I was actually wondering about rip cards was that like I've never really tracked and cared too much to know if they've gone up in value, but you have to assume that probably the only ones that would stay high, relatively high and eventually go up in value would be like the bigger rookies of the class, right? So if you went back to 2019 or 2018, went to go look for like an Acuna one or a Choyotani and see what those went for, it'd be different. But I don't think rip cards really go that crazy high after time passes. I mean, you know. So it's kind of more just like a personal preference. I feel like for, for me, like if I'm a big Otani guy and I wanted to buy a rip card, I'm buying it to just rip it, but also I'm going to get to keep the card. You know. Alright, we got a Alex Verdugo.
Michelle Wee West. Years ago, I sold Consego Ripcar on eBay to his former bodyguard. So, did he buy that because he got fired and he wanted to rip, rip apart a Conseco? We got a Brandon Nemo relic. Oh, so he was just a big Conseco fan. Thought maybe he had like a little grudge on him or something. Alrighty guys, finally down to the last box. We are finally here guys. I know I took a lot longer than I should have, but it was fun chatting with you guys and I let the trade window go on for a very long time, I guess. <laughs> so if you're watching the replay from earlier, just skip through the trade window. Nice, and a Randy, a Rosarania rip card. And that's the last spot mojo of Chris, so I don't know if Chris is watching. I could rip this if you'd like, man. If not, of course, you could rip it yourself, sell it. You get a chance at a red ink, mini autograph, mini exclusive, wood, metal, or one of a kind sketch. So, we'll just continue on though. And, you know, I kind of jinxed it, I guess. This was the first case I had that didn't have a box topper ripper. The two cases I opened up on Instagram had a box topper ripper in every case. And Doris. Yes, I don't know if you could do it now, Mike, but in previous years, that's where people were doing. Uh, I know, I think Pizzle was also was the one that uh, told me about that and tried it himself like years back. All right, a Whit Merrifield relic. Yeah, looks like that'll be it, guys. All righty, folks. Well, that was fun. Um, I don't think I need to randomize anything, right? There was nothing I need to do, so I'll just quickly, re quickly recap of what we got here, basically, if anything. But, uh... A lot of relics, of course. Merrifield, little uh, mini relic there of Tatis. Bellinger, Mountcastle, Donaldson. Alice Cooper auto was awesome. That was pretty cool. Uh, Michael Bradley, Jones. Bradley Beal autograph was awesome as well. Uh, Buxton, Tony Gwynn Silk to 10 was awesome. Alonzo, Cole relic. 
Uh, McCullers, Yelich, Relic, Stanton. We got an auto there. Palacios. Doris Relic, Nemo. Rip card, Randy Rosarena. Um, Verdugo, Michelle Wee, West. Berenz to 10. There's his Relic. Uh, Hoskins, Kershaw. We did get one numbered mini, which was uh, 9 of 25 of Colton Walker. And we got a Todd Helton Relic, Gil Hodges, Murphy, CC, Thomas, Morgan. Uh, we got a Patrick Wisdom, and then we had a rip card, of course, that Rex ripped. Pedro Martinez, and out came out a little mini uh, Tatis. So appreciate it, folks. That was pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for buying. I did put another one in the store. Something we can do again maybe later tonight, if not over the weekend. But uh, like I said, I think we made it a great point where I, I don't know how busy and how, how much the website will be stocked up uh, since we do have a new release. Uh, sorry, Bowman Chrome coming out Wednesday. So kind of probably will work on what we have on the website here tonight. And, of course, maybe potentially those breaks get posted tomorrow or post more breaks up, of course, for the rest of the week, including Black Friday promos. So appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.